Buddha's Salon focuses on a woman whose visit to a hair salon turns into a nightmare when she's blackmailed by its owner. This is written and directed by Hani Abu Asad, whose last film was the Kate Winslet, Idris Elba film The Mountain Between Us, and it hit theaters and VOD in early March, and unfortunately, it flew a bit too quietly under the radar. It's actually based on true events, set against the Israeli occupation of Palestine, and involves a large-scale blackmailing operation that actually occurred. And while it's a pretty harrowing story, Asad manages to take these true events and transform them into a consistently engaging, sometimes heightened thriller. After a masterfully crafted opening scene, in which our protagonist Reem, enters the salon and sees a seemingly mundane situation with her thought-to-be friend Huda escalate in a way she couldn't have ever imagined, the film splits off into two stories that run parallel to one another. One is of Reem, a young Palestinian mother who is experiencing marital troubles but now finds herself blackmailed by Huda to working for the Israeli Secret Service and to betray her people, and she now fears her life is over due to no fault of her own. She knows that if she's discovered to be part of this operation, even if she was forced into it, then she'd automatically be labeled a traitor, especially because she's a woman, due to this being a very patriarchal community. So a lot of the tension stems from her attempting to keep this operation under wraps from her family. And the other storyline is of Huda herself, who is revealed to have this entire blackmailing ring operating out of her salon and is captured early on by the Palestinian resistance. And we see her keeping her cool as she's interrogated by their enforcer Hassan in a series of dialogue heavy sequences in a confined space that do a nice job of building up the simmering tension that evokes a sense of claustrophobia due to the solid camera work. Now of the two stories, the latter was easily my favorite. Assad tries to present to us an examination of who the true enemies are in the face of war as he attempts to paint nearly everyone in a morally ambiguous light, besides arguably Reem herself. I don't think he reaches anything profound with his examination, but at the very least, he shows how ruthless everyone can be when backed into a corner. Though even with all that, I'd say it's still pretty clear that Huda is our ultimate antagonist here. While she claims she had compelling reasons for what she's done, she still shows no remorse for her betrayals and she keeps her cool even as Assad tries digging deeper and obtaining more information regarding her operation. It results in a brilliant and gripping battle of wits between the two, with some masterfully acted performances that bring to life some sharply written dialogue by Assad. Now Reem's storyline is also solid though, as it offers a layered insight into her troubled home life. As mentioned, while she panics through most of the film fearing for her own safety and the end of her own life, she also doesn't exactly have the happiest situation at home. Her husband doesn't come off as trustworthy, and we can see he can just get passive-aggressively irritated if Reem shows any sense of independence, so we know things wouldn't be good for her if she even attempted to present him with the truth, as he wouldn't have her back. And while similar to some of the other social commentary Assad is looking to explore, it doesn't reach these emotionally profound levels, it was still another nice source of tension. And altogether, Huda Salam presents us a masterfully acted, gripping thriller that I found to be quite engaging for the most part. While I think some of its messaging wasn't as profound as the filmmaker was hoping to go for, it still does a good job at presenting us this harrowing nature of war through some nicely done, dialogue-based boiling tension. It's unfortunate this came and went so quickly when it was out, but if you have a chance, definitely give it a shot. Huda Salon gets a 7 out of 10. So let me know, did you see Huda Salon, or are you planning to see it, and what were your thoughts? Did you like the story, and what's a good indie thriller that you've seen? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it. And for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching, everyone, and keep having fun with film.